Hello everybody, welcome to Evil Ted Live on twitch.tv slash Evil Ted Smith. Where we left off is uh, I'm working on my toy gun mod. Uh, yesterday I went ahead and got the, uh, I bundled, screwed the holes, got that all touched up. Uh, and trying to create a barrel, I found this piece, which is a cast piece left over some other project, which ended up making a really cool barrel. And looking at this made me realize that I was going to make this like a high-tech energy weapon. Um, from like Mass Effect or some kind of space weapon. But now I'm looking at it, it really looks like it's in the Star Wars universe. So I'm gonna make this into a Star Wars gun. So what we do today is do a little bit of detail work and start painting. And I found that what really helps is you go to get some model parts. I had some old model kits left over. And these are like tank parts and panels and little gas cans. And what I liked about these is they're made up of uh, styrene plastic, which is the same plastic this gun is. So I could just do a little weld on drop them on there, give a little symmetry. It doesn't have to be completely symmetrical, but I would like to have some consistency. So I'll put a little one on there. Just like that, there we go. I like this little deep spot in here. Let's put something in there too. Let's put this gas can in here, like this. All right, I'm officially done with all the detail work. This gun is pretty much prepped and ready to go. I'm going to first hit this up with adhesion promoter. Adhesion promoter is just to help the plastic, to the paint to stick to the plastic. So I'm going to hit it with adhesion promoter, and then after I hit it with adhesion promoter, I'm going to hit it with primer. Now I get people say, why don't you just go straight to primer? And I could, but I've always found by doing this helps the paint stick better to plastics. If you have Krylon Fusion, it works really well, but I do not have Krylon Fusion. I have this, so I'm going to do a little prep that right now. There it is, we've got it painted, it's black. Now if you notice, I only painted the areas I know we're gonna uh, match. This is gonna be a painted a separate color, so I don't really wanna focus on that. I mostly want to focus the parts I know I want to black. Uh, as you can see here, I used a saran wrap, or pack packing wrap. This is a quick, easy way of doing some masking. I realized this barrel was already silver, and I wanted to keep it silver, so I just went ahead and masked it with some saran wrap. Um, now, normally you could just wrap masking tape, but my fear is it's going to tear off the paint because the paint has been freshly painted. So to mask it, I'm going to very gingerly wrap with the uh, plastic wrap, which will allow me to mask this off without damaging the paint. Uh, this is always scary because this paint's still fresh and you have tacky paint. So one of the tricks we do so sometimes when we have the when we have the tape, uh, we like to just detack it. And how we go about doing that is we'll take a piece of tape and put it against our clothing or our pant leg. And what you're doing, it's going to be tacky, but you're trying to take some of the tack out of it. So what you do is you put it against fabric, and it's just grabbing all the dust and stuff off the air, and it gets the tape prepped. So when you go to put this on your uh, your piece, it, uh, it will hold, but not enough to pull the paint off. This is Tamaya. The people that make the paint, the same company that makes this paint, Tamaya, they make masking tape for models. And this stuff is super amazing. So, granted, it's a little expensive, but it's worth the penny. So when you start masking with this stuff. All right, we gave it a look it over. It needs to be properly masked. I got my Krylon red. We're gonna go ahead and spray this part red. Be right back. All right, there's my coat. Uh, I find when I'm demasking, I like to do it when it's kind of relatively uh, wet or soft, so it just kind of comes off very gingerly. Go along. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. Okay, I've let this dry for at least eight hours. It's completely dry. I always like to have the base coats completely dry before I start putting masking tape on it and start doing a little more paint on it. But right now, the first thing I wanna do is I'm going to age, I like all this black, but I wanna do a uh, mix and scratches on that. I'm gonna do this with a dry brush technique where I'm gonna take some bright silver spray paint and put it on a piece of paper and just kind of rub all over this. But I don't wanna get any silver on the red, so what I'm gonna do, um, I will eventually age this, but not with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just protect my red before I start doing the dry brush. All right, got all the parts taped off and just the edges now. I'm just gonna do the part where I'm just going to dry brush all the black area. I have a piece of uh, cardboard. I'm going to take some Rust-Oleum silver here and spray it on the piece of cardboard and proceed to dab with the brush and just do very light uh, aging. 
take it like so, dab it on my brush. Take it on the brush and thin it out just a little bit. Now you can look at it. See, granted, once was super black, but you kind of get this little sheen of metallic and dry brush area. And it kind of doesn't make it black anymore. It's kind of a deep metallic. So let's go ahead and remove the tape. All right, now I have the tape removed. I'm going to start to age this. I got some uh, black acrylic. This particular is uh, Nova color, but you can use any black acrylic that you have in the house. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put it in a cup. I don't need a lot of it. Some water. Not a lot. I just wanna make this a little bit of a black wash. I have a paper, paper towel standing by, so I'm gonna wipe off the excess. Yeah, something that's a little too watery. Hold on, I want that a little bit. There's one thing that people like to tell is that they don't realize that when you age up something for a, a costume or a prop, what looks good to the naked eye, like, oh, it looks pretty good. And then you take a picture or a photograph of it, you can't even see it. In the movies, uh, we would do this thing where we'd age stuff. They would go do a screen test and they'd come back to us and go, ah, oh, it needs to be dirtier. So that's why when you go to, um, sometimes do uh, they have displays, or you'll see a costume and stuff, it's displayed, it has been screen used. It's really dirty. And you're like thinking, wow, it's kind of overly dirty. And the reason they over dirty is because it doesn't, it doesn't really read on film. Maybe you say that, digital. Because <laughs> um, with lighting and stuff on set and contrast and things, it just, they just dirty the crap of everything more than you possibly imagine. And while it's still relatively wet, this dry for a little bit let the water evaporate and I'm gonna go back in with some different uh, some silver make some nicks and scratches on this and uh, probably highlight some parts here with different colors is that since this is enamel spray paint this stuff is dry so it's, it's really tough and it will resist alcohol so I have some rubbing um, denatured alcohol and I'm gonna take a little bit of that and wet it onto a paper towel what that will do is it'll wipe off some of the uh, the acrylic paint that I put on there. See? And also, you got to be careful because you can rub off the red a little bit. You're just going to do it very light. What I'm doing is I'm painting these inside black first. And the reason I'm doing that is going to know that. There it is, all done. Uh, I was, I'm really happy, guys. Again, doing something in red and go back and age it, it ended up looking so much better than I expected. I was a little, little nervous in the beginning, but it came out great. For all you guys, thank you so much. This pretty much wraps up uh, my toy space gun, how to turn into a really cool proc. If you guys are just watching this on YouTube, it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and go to my uh, website, eviltestament.com, where I have numerous patterns and tutorials on how to build with foam. If you guys like what I'm doing and want to show your support, you can go through my Amazon links and shop, or better yet, even buy patterns. And if you guys like to watch me live, I do it on Twitch TV. That's uh, Evil Ted. So uh, Twitch.tv slash Evil Ted Smith here on Twitch. I stream Mondays and Tuesdays from 9 to 11 a.m. I stream on Thursdays from uh, noon to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you back next time right here on Evil Ted Live.